How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel for a new video. Today we are working on the GTI. Again, we are doing more little tech upgrade sort of things. In one of the previous videos we did our little puddle lights, which has been super cool. We have also recently done the hatch pop kit, which is also very convenient, very cool, very uh, technologically advanced if you ask me. Basically, I have a Mercedes now that with an auto trunk opener. But in today's video, I've got one new little thing that we are going to be adding to the interior. That is replacing a part that I've already made a video on. So if you are familiar with the Black Horse Industries shift knob for the DSG transmission, uh, go click on that video, it's right up here. But we've got a replacement for that, which I think is pretty cool. This is a electronic shift knob that lights up. It's kind of like OEM. So I know we're going back to a little bit of an OEM look, but we are getting these cool little light ups. You'll see it once we get it all installed, but should be a pretty simple to do install, especially since I've done it once. This kit was, I got this from DSG paddles. When I bought it, it was like 80 bucks. I think now it's like closer to hundred, but it comes with your shift knob with the little clicker button and everything. Um, some other stuff and the wiring harness for it because this shift knob plugs in to light up. Um, again, you'll see that once we install it. Here's the BFI shift knob. It's really, really nice. I like it. I've always liked it, but I don't know if it really fits the theme of the interior as much anymore. I have enjoyed using it, but I want something that's a little bit more OEM and the light up functions really were what drew me into this because it's a really nice interior, so why not embrace the modern interior and get some cool little subtle features with things that you'll use every day, things that you'll notice, like the shift knob. So really, we're kind of rinse and repeating here uh, with taking out the old shift knob. I'm gonna watch an install video on it, or I might watch mine because I don't exactly remember how to do it, but if I do remember correctly, it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna get the old shifter out and then we'll jump back into the video because you guys have probably already seen it. I'm just gonna get in, start taking things apart. So our shift knob is off. Pretty easy to do if I, you know, I did it without instructions actually. Uh, you just pop off your trim plate here, twist off the top, and there's a bracket for the BFI that you just take off with some Allen screws. And now we can start installing our other one. Um, so I am gonna have to look at the instructions for this real quick. Uh, it's a little bit different design. It's more like the OEM shift knob that comes on the car. So what happens is with the Black Force Industries one, you would pull up on it, which pulls up this little guy right here, which lets you shift the car. This is the same thing, just you click it like your stock unit. And when you click it, it pulls this up and then you can shift it into place. So a little uh, bit of information there. Uh, I'm gonna look up a video real quick, set the camera up, and then we will install this one on camera. So you probably saw me struggling with this black clip here and it was an absolute pain to get it to fit over the shift boot and click into the little part right here. So uh, be ready for that if you buy this kit. Um, otherwise, it fits really snug. together uh, once I got that black little retaining clip thing in it was pretty easy so it's all down button works just fine so most satisfying part of the install now is taking off the plastic and of course I can't get it in one nice there we go look at that very cool it's all straight and good so 
I'm gonna get the uh, car on and then you can see how this lights up. All right, so getting in your car, no big deal. Once you're in, look at that. That is pretty cool. I love how it lights up. It's so simple looking, but it just adds that extra bit of flair to the interior. It goes into reverse, neutral, drive, over to our paddle shifting. Feels good in the hand, which is great. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Super cool. I'm really happy with that. It was pretty much plug and play outside of the few little annoying things that we uh, encountered, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And so with that, I am going to go ahead and close out the video here. I'm pretty excited about that. I love the way that the GTI is like a sporty vehicle, but at the same time, it's not luxurious, but it has like some nice tech features. And I think this helps lend a hand to an overall like tech package sort of thing. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button. I just did a big video with the modifications the other day. So go check my channel, go check out his channel. We compare the GTI to his Golf R. But otherwise, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next one.